Hello everyone. Hope you're all having a pretty swell day. So I haven't done one of these in a while, but I asked people for topics, and I got a couple. One of them from one of my good friends, Maddie, so known as Ashley on Tumblr. She asks, or she says I should talk about how the internet has changed my life. Now that's a huge question because it's changed my life in ways I can. There's just so many ways that the internet has changed my life and I can't really explain them all, but I'll, I'll give you a couple of highlights. Any musical instrument, anything that has to do with music in the past about, about half my life have been through the internet. I learned how to play guitar and ukulele and banjo and even some piano through the internet. And pretty much every band I listen to now, anything, anything I know about music, despite maybe one or two music theory classes in high school, anything else I know about music has been through the internet. And that's, that's amazing to me because before that, before that, I had no idea. I had not a clue about music. I was just in the dark. I mean, I knew, like, I knew, I knew the pop hits, I knew everything, but this has made me be able to develop and find my, what, what speaks to me most, music world, and, uh, <laughs> that's a really broad spectrum, because I, I, I think I listen to everything. Another thing that the internet has given me is education. I've been able to learn so much through the internet for, for as long as I've been using it. Since I was a wee lad, I've been using the internet to learn new things. From dinosaurs to gamma rays that are hurtling toward the earth and might, may or may not hit us, we'll see. Uh, but I've used the internet to learn how to, like I said, play guitar. I learned how to, how to be a better writer. I learned how to all, learn tons of science and math and geography and history. I've learned pretty much anything you can. I've learned stuff from the internet which is huge because I feel like I've learned more from this than I've ever learned in this, any school or any class ever, and that's, that's saying a lot. Another thing that I have been so grateful for the internet for is a lot of friendships that I've made through it. Uh, I've met Maddie, the one who submitted this question, is a good friend of mine, and we talk, we've been talking for a couple of years. And to keep up with each other to some degree, and um, we've actually met before, and I've met many other of my internet friends through Tumblr and Twitter mostly. I met a couple the other day actually at a, a Fox event I went to, and just the fact that I can make friends through the internet, which I probably wouldn't have met ever otherwise, some of them living a couple towns away. Uh, it, I might have never even known they existed if it weren't for this thing. I've met people from California, from Washington State, from the Midwest. I've met all these people that I've just be befriended through Tumblr and Twitter, and it's astounding how many people I've made friends with. Today. Even I even had my first relationship spring and grow from, from Tumblr, which is crazy for love to manifest through through emotions and emoticons it's pretty insane so the second topic and this will be a quick one is from Zolgax and it's about beards simply beards and uh I have one didn't take long to grow because I have European blood in me I have hair everywhere. It's actually kind of a problem, but you know what? Beards? Beards are in. And I like my beard, to be honest. It's nice and pleasant. It grows way too quick, though. Way too quick. And, but people seem to like it. I like it. Because I'm lazy and I'm, I'm glad.
glad people like it, and I'm glad it's in because I don't feel like shaving it all the time. I think I'm quite fine with a beard.